Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can set up profitable Facebook adverts for your small business. Even if you don't have a website, right? You're going to learn how to run adverts and make sales. Even if you don't have a website or a landing page as a small business owner, it's not going to be, it's, it's not going to be a long video. It's going to be a short video. So watch every minute of this video, understand it, practice it, implement it on your business, and you're going to make sales, get new customers and grow your business without wasting time. Let's dive into the business. And if you don't know who I am, my name is courage. And in this channel, I talk about sales, marketing, entrepreneurship, and business basically, right? So if it's something that interests you, please subscribe to my channel and smash that bell icon. So you get notified whenever I post helpful videos like this one. So right now we are here on the, on the ads manager. If you don't, if you don't know how to get to the ads manager, you just come on your Facebook here and then you click on this plus, this plus sign here, this creates on the right hand corner. Just click on it. And then you click on add on this ad and then it takes you to the ad manager, right? Alternatively, you can just come here on this left side, click on see more and then see the ads manager here. Once you click on see more, this is the ads manager. Once you click on the ads manager, it takes you to your, to the ads one, to your default ads manager, right? If you don't have the business profile, just take it, it brings you to your default ads manager, which is here. So once you are here, you click on create, you click on create, right? Once you are here, you click on create, you select your objective as a small business without a website, we are not going to be running conversion objective. So for this very, for the sake of this very video, we are going to select traffic here. We're going to select traffic here, right? And then you name your campaign. You drop down this icon here. You drop down, you name your campaign. We can just call it test ad one. Oh, sorry. That's the, camp that's the campaign name for the ad set. The ad. Always name your campaign and your ad. Then you click on continue here. We are moving straight up. We are not going to waste time. Guys, please make sure you like this video, okay? Because the more likes this video gets, the more um, traction it's going to gain. When this video gets more likes, YouTube will show it to more people, right? And it's going to help um, my channel grow also. So please make sure you like this video as you are watching it. I would greatly appreciate that. So while you are here on your... While you are here, you just scroll down leave it leave this campaign budget optimization leave it turned off click on next and now you are in your ad sets proper right now you, you can see that you are driving traffic to you are supposed to drive traffic to a website or to your blog post or to a landing page but since you do not have any as a small business owner you are going to drive traffic to whatsapp right i'm going to show you something here so once you select that whatsapp you select the page you select your page where you want to drive the traffic to okay so i could select any of okay these are some of these are my some of my pages and then some businesses that i manage so i could select this page for this um fragrance here for this lady i could select that that's how that's her page as her whatsapp profile there so you come down here you select your budget your budget for the adverts right if it's five dollar per day ten dollar per day depending on what you can afford if you if your account is in naira you can select what you can afford two thousand per day five thousand per day ten thousand per day as the case may be so guys while you are here right leave don't schedule the ad don't schedule the ad to run for to run and stop at social time leave it to keep running right you can actually go and stop the ad whenever you want to stop it so and then you can monitor your ad how you can do that is to download an app come here then go to your play store or your app store for those that use the iphone download the facebook ads manager here facebook ads manager this this is the app here i have it installed on my phone already so that's why it's showing this installed here all right so with this ads manager you can monitor your ads on your phone remember that you set up you you're going to set up this ad on your pc but you're going to monitor the ad on your phone right so with the ad you can manage your ad see what's happening if you want to stop the ad you can always stop the ad right on your phone manage the ad see the see the tractions see the statistics see where it's getting more traction from and see how your ad is performing right on your phone okay so download this facebook ads manager so that you can always manage your, your adverts on your phone 
right? Or, but remember that you set up the advert on your PC, but you manage it on your phone via the Facebook Ads Manager. This is the correct one here. So now you have the Facebook Ads Manager on your phone. We continue with this advert, right? With the Ads Manager, you can always stop the ad anytime and continue anytime and turn it on anytime, right? So you come down here, you select location. If it, since it's Nigeria, if you are in Port Harcourt and you want to sell to people living in Port Harcourt or people within Port Harcourt, you just come down here and select your location, Port Harcourt. Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. Now, as you have selected Port Harcourt, you can see that this advert is going to show to people living in Aba, people in Aba, right? And if you don't want people in Aba to see your advert because you only want to sell to those living within Port Harcourt, you come down here, you come up here, this place has seen 25 mile radius of Port Harcourt, you reduce it to probably 15. When this is done, you can see that the advert is now far away. The advert is away from Aba. So this advert is not going to be shown to people in Aba, right? And then you also come up here and make sure that your advert is checked to people living in this location, all right? Because if, you're, if it is here, which is by default, if it is showing to people living or recently in this location, you're going to have a situation whereby, assuming you're in Port Harcourt and running advert, someone can call you from, let's say, Abuja and say, I want to buy what you are selling. And then you, are want, you, and then you begin to wonder, how did someone in Abuja see my advert when, when I only targeted people in Port Harcourt? It is because your advert has this here. Yeah? It's showing to people living or recently. So it means that anyone who was in Port Harcourt recently and has gone out of Port Harcourt, probably gone to Abuja, Kaduna or Lagos, can still see your advert, right? And by then you are wasting money and stuff like that. So always show your advert to people living in that location. All right, always show your advert to people living in that location, right? And then that's it. You can target multiple locations. Yeah, you can target Lagos, Abuja, all of them in one ad. All right, so you come down here and select the age, age range of people who can afford what you sell. Are they between the ages of 20 to 30, between the ages of 25 to 35, whatever, whatever? Just select their age range here, okay? Select their age range let's assume that they are between the ages of um 20 to 30. okay always make sure that you you know the correct the accurate age range of people who you are targeting all right now this is it okay so so we are going to target people who are between the ages of 20 to let's say 30 35 between the ages of 30, 20 to 35, right? And then let's say for gender, let's say that they are female. Let's say that they are female. Okay? Let's say that they are female. I'll just give an example here. Or let's say, okay, let's say it's all gender. It's all gender. Okay? You're targeting all gender, both male and female. And then you come down here. No, here now they're not going to, Facebook does not allow you, since you selected traffic and WhatsApp, so you want to drive traffic to WhatsApp, Facebook is not going to allow you to create detail targeting. So they're only going to show this advert to people, they're going to work out the targeting for you. They're not going to allow you to work out the targeting. So in this place now, you don't have the power to show your advert to people you want to see it. Facebook have taken that power away from you. They want to be the ones to target the people they think the advert will be, be will be suited for. Okay, but there is a way to you know to go around this. There is a way to bypass this and actually target the people you want to target by yourself. All right. So I'm going to link the video up here. I'm going to link the video up here. So you see the link here, right? So make sure that after watching this video, just watch that one so that you learn how to bypass this and target the people who you want to target who are interested in what you sell. Okay, also I, I'm going to leave it in the description below. So just check out the description below so you can go and watch that video and learn how to bypass this stuff right here. Guys, if you're liking this video, if you're enjoying this video now, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and smash that bell icon so you get notified when I post my next video, right? So we continue, you come down here, don't leave it at automatic placement. Always choose the manual placement here right and since you want to show your advert to only people on facebook 
you can uncheck Instagram. But if you want to show your advert to people on Instagram too, that's fine. That's fine. You can leave it in that, in that case. But if you want your advert to run just on Facebook, you can uncheck Instagram. By so doing, your advert is only going to run on Facebook alone. Okay? Your advert is only going to run on Facebook alone. Uncheck every other thing. Now, your advert, is, your advert is going to run on Facebook alone. Okay? Leave it on link click and just click on continue. Click on next here. All right? Click on next here. So, while you are here, you come down. You come down here. Leave it as select single image or video. You come down here. You select media, add media. You add image here. Right? If you don't have any of the images here, just click on upload. Click on upload. Go to your PC, either your desktop, your downloads, your documents, or your downloads. Pick any, pick the image that represents what you want to sell, and then upload it. Okay. Let's assume we want to sell this um, wristwatch here. Okay. We we'll just select this one. It's an assumption anyway. Okay. This fits perfectly. Done. Okay. Now, this is how your ad is going to appear on Facebook, right? Nothing is written here, nothing, nothing. So, we're going to make, we're going to create a caption that would attract people into buying what you sell. Okay, so what you're going to do is here on the primary text, you can say, get a free bracelet, get a free bracelet, and probably anything else for free that you want to offer, right? Um, get a free bracelet and i don't know maybe a free sunshade and a free xyz whatever it is you want to offer when you buy or when you purchase what the f when you purchase our A, B, C, or whatever, whatever it is. When you purchase our, assuming that this uh, smartwatch is, um, uh, assuming that the name is, uh, let's say, Linko. When you purchase our Linko Health Monitoring Smartwatch. Right, always put up the benefit forward. Okay, so you get a free bracelet and a free XYZ, whatever XYZ is to you, when you purchase our Linko Health Monitoring Smartwatch today for only twenty thousand naira. You get it now. So this is what is going to show. To people on facebook okay the idea is to always put your best foot forward always put the best punch line forward so that whatever you're going to show here that's going to that's good whatever is in your first paragraph is what's going to show here so that before you get to that place where they say see more you have captured the interest with your best caption that sells the product and shows the benefit and also tells what they stand to gain they are getting two freebies here a free bracelet and a free xyz whatever xyz means to your business right and then you also tell them the price so you can just say order order now order now via whatsapp then you put the number zero zero da 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 so on and so forth right now you can see that it's showing see more and before they click on see more to come and see this one you have already sent the main message which is this one get a free blah 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 da 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 you get that right and then you come down you can see chat on whatsapp whatsapp here it's boring it's boring what is chat on whatsapp always try to put something that will make people take immediate action right order now WhatsApp. Order now on WhatsApp. Okay? Order now on WhatsApp. You can also put your number. 
zero is zero da 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 whatever okay as i think it has to be zero is zero then it's number sabi number will be here order now on whatsapp you put your number here so that either they click here to order on whatsapp or they see your number to either pick the number save it on their phone and send you a message or call you right so why you are using this whatsapp option is that you can have their number saved they can always view your status you can always send them um broadcast messages and you can also always send them book sms because now you have their detail you have the data the information right because businesses need data to survive right so basically this is all that you need to do that is everything you need to do that's all right the next thing to do is to hit the publish button and then boom your advert is going to start showing okay but what if you don't want to use an image you want to use um a video for this advert you can also use a video if that is what works for you right always remember that whatever you want to do do what works for your business if this instead of using an image you want to use a video use a video it works perfectly too so guys make sure you like this video subscribe to my channel and hit this the notification bell so that you get notified when i when next i post helpful videos like this right so the first step is for you to if you don't have a website choose the traffic drive traffic to your whatsapp and then create a caption that would uh, that would entice people into taking the necessary action okay and always use the right words okay put your best foot forward put your best foot forward in this first place here always put your best foot forward right that is in the primary text here and then in this one don't use any boring headline that is here this is headline don't use boring headline always put give them the call to action on your headline okay so that is it for this video guys once you are done with that you just hit the publish button and then you wait for facebook to um, approve your adverts and you start waiting for customers to come to your whatsapp you close them there you make the sale and you save up money to have a website you save up money to have a website so that you can run conversion ads and actually have proper tracking okay so thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next video cheers guys